So the other day I was on YouTube, just in my dashboard, just looking through the analytics. And again, there's this fun tab. I've talked about it before and it's really great. It's a great tool to use when you are a YouTuber. It, it's called the research tab. And I was looking through it and it really gives you all these different things that are similar to what you put out, what is popular, what's really popping for other YouTubers. And one of the things that came up because I like analog horror and I like creepy crap, it suggested something called Liminal Land. What's up everyone, my name is Swift Edge and welcome to a analog series called uh, uh, Liminal Land and it's um, looking at it right up my alley because I like liminal spaces because I like the back rooms and it's also creepy. I like that too. I don't know why it keeps on suggesting creepy crap. Everyone does, everyone suggests it, even YouTube now. So I've accepted my place. We're going to go ahead and watch all five of these videos. I'm assuming this is also going to maybe be an ongoing series. I don't know if this is it in its entirety. We're going to get started. Oh, the good old blue screen of a VCR. Why am I so full of energy right now? <laughs> okay, got the national anthem. How is this tying into liminal spaces? Of liminal lands, so. oh. I'm not American, so, but, you know, I'll stand. I'll stand for it. I'm Canadian, I don't know. Is this bad? Does this go against my country? Or am I paying respect to another country by standing here? I'm not, t I'm not quiet. I'm disrespectful, I know. I should not close my eyes, because maybe something creepy will happen. It might cut away. Studying it, waiting. If you're wondering why I'm being quiet, which I normally am not, if you know me, if you've watched me enough, you know I'm not quiet when it comes to reaction videos. So I'm just studying this, waiting for some kind of glitch so something will pop up or whatever. But no, it seems pretty straightforward on this first entry into Liminal Land so far. So creepy. It's not them. How can that be creepy? It's just the 1980s, 1990s VCR effect. It just has that. There we go! Right into a missing thing. Mm-hmm. Right into a missing persons report. Margaret Jacobson. Call that number if you see them. I have a feeling Margaret's dead. Frank Strother. I have a feeling Frank's dead, too. There's probably going to be quite a few people on this missing report, and I can tell you right now. Dead. Frank, dead. Margaret, dead. Angie, oh, Angie, no. <laughs> oh, Angie, I'm so sorry, you're probably gone too. Oh, don't show another child. That's a teenager, or a preteen. Sherry, you lived a life. Not long, don't know how it went. Don't know ya, but you lived. What is happening in Luminal Land? Mark? No! Not Mark! Who else is missing? Herman Reed! Oh my gosh, how many people went missing? How many? How much time do we have to fill? Oh great, it's, it's all missing persons. I mean, it is the title for it, but... I'm assuming Liminal Land is probably kind of... Because uh, one of the videos has a thumbnail of what looks like a neighborhood. So I'm assuming they did something kind of like that. Made a neighborhood and then everybody gone. Everybody disappeared. Unless these people all got taken and got put in, got put in that neighborhood. It's not much better. It's not a great scenario. There's a lose-lose all around for all of this. And why is it also the same number for every person? Is that your local police station? Is this all happening in one county? In one city? I want to say, is 505 an actual area code? What area code would that be? It's probably a fake number. 505, I think, is also American-based, if that was anything, because I don't think we have 505 here in Canada. Well, oh, so many missing people. 
I sure to have a clutch on my heart. That was, that was a lot. The adults, whatever. The kids, though. The kids is what got my heart clutch. I don't care about the adults, man. Y'all, y'all adults. The kids, however. We're gonna go on to the company training tape, though. Visitor satisfaction. Oh, God, I let my mouse hover over there and the picture that came up. Terrifying. Liminal land archive orientation B? Is it tape B? What was that? Liminal land! I almost thought that this was going to be an amusement park style when I first saw it. Like the title, not the thumbnail, because nothing but the thumbnail I saw in the research tab for YouTube gave amusement park vibes. The title though, however, made me think amusement park attraction type of thing. Orientation course six. So maybe it is? We're so grateful to have you join our team and we're and hope we've given you a warm and memorable welcome thus far. As you've seen, we, we pride ourselves in ensuring that each visitor's experience is nothing short of positive. Okay, so it is an attraction. I was right. In this tape, we hope to teach you how to spot dissatisfied visitors. When they go missing, they're dissatisfied. They're very dissatisfied. I don't know if that's dissatisfied, they're on a ride. This is the person. Again, they're on a ride, it, they might not be dissatisfied. It's the look of terror that you usually have when look you want a roller coaster. Photo. Okay, um, every part of that screams run away. No, that makes me think of Resident Evil and it's a bunch of zombie kids running after me. What's at that point? Look at the photo. No, I don't wanna. Oh gee, which one looks dissatisfied? The only child there! These do not look like normal kids! <laughs> These do not look like normal kids. Look at the photo. That's that's the demon granny right there. That she she looks like she's smiling though. This is the person that you will see in your nightmares later tonight. That does look not look photo. like a dissatisfied customer, though. That made me want to throw up for a second. The AI. Oh, God, the gag. The gag is real. I didn't think a picture could so viscerally churn my stomach look like that. Look at the photo. <coughs> oh, AI-generated photos are scary, dude. That's messed up. The park is a lot. They're all dissatisfied because they're all dead. They're all dead. Oh no. Oh no. The tingles. I have a tear one to start right here. If you encounter a dissatisfied visitor, be sure to make their day by suggesting additional park activities, like leaving. When you're ready, inform your manager to initiate course seven with passcode right. What I would suggest to every visitor is run! At Liminal Land, a happy visitor is a forever visitor. They're forever because they're not leaving. They're dead, their body is there. You probably have some contraption to steal their soul too, don't you? God, that's terrifying. Oh, I can see why this was suggested to me, though. Okay, I'm just kind of, I've been sitting here contemplating all this. The fact that I've just had such a visceral reaction. This is, this is great. This is, uh-huh. YouTube, you've suggested something fantastic. We're going to go on to investigation tape. Liminal land anomaly. Oh, crap, that looks terrifying. Mexico State Police exhibit. I, you put words up so fast. You don't give me reason. You don't give me reason. You don't give me time. The anomaly within Liminal Land. The anomaly, I think, is taking out everybody. In recent months, an MSP has been made aware of an anomalous attraction at Liminal Land Park. Wait, enough. An entire attraction? The ride is believed to be tied to numerous cases of facial deformity, as noted by Lake Valley Regional Hospital. How does an entire thing just show up? What curse lays upon this land? 
LVVT has declined to cover these cases on local television as visual depictions are not suitable for general audience. Gee, I wonder why? It's deformed cuts, scrapes, skin probably taken off. You can't show that. We hope this rec record will serve as a suitable and alternative case study for the liminal land anomaly. Yeah, there's just certain things you don't want to show people. Like people's faces maybe being just gone. Rick Ackerman, age 42, height 5'11", occupation, sales agent, med notes, mild anxiety. Oh, what happened to Rick? Rick visited Liminal Land in July of 1988. He has a wife and three children. I love how it still says has and not had because uh, he's probably still alive, right? He allegedly snuck away from his family to ride the Liminal Land anomaly alone. I will never go on any ride by myself. If there's not roads of people behind me, I'm not doing it. This photograph was the last time his family saw him alive. Never mind, he's dead. Remember when I said has, it was had. He had a wife and three children. The following photo is an illustration of his facial structure after riding the mo Do I want to see it? Do I want to see it? Rick's deformity. What happened on that ride, Rick? Rick, what happened on the ride? What space-time continuum did you break that just... Rick's cause of death remains under investigation until further notice. <sighs> the tingles are back, guys. Name, Lena Sorensen, age 44, 5'4", teacher. There's no med notes. You were just perfect. No stress, no anxiety, no depression, nothing. You were happy. Lena brought her first grade class to Liminal Land in winter of 1984. <laughs> no, please tell me you didn't put the kids on that ride. Please? Please tell me the kids got off safely. While there, Lena decided to take the children to the park's paradise playrooms. Okay, but you didn't say the Liminal Land anomaly. It should be fine, right? But I'm gonna go with no. Lena remained with the children for seven minutes before she suddenly left the building through the rear exit. Is the ride calling to people? Is it just got some lure? The children were left alone for eight hours and never noticed she left. Eight hours in a playhouse? Lena's body was discovered in a patch of dirt behind the liminal land anomaly. Eight hours. Nobody noticed children in a playhouse for eight hours. The following photo is an illustration of her facial structure after her body was recovered. So this ride has to have some kind of lure that it's pulling people in. Okay, that one looks like she got her face smashed in. Like bones were broken and stretched. She had the Joker toxin. Lake Valley police refuses to elaborate on their findings from the crime scene. Of course, because they probably don't even know what they're finding. Look at that. Would you know what to make of it? Someone who looked perfectly normal, happy, healthy, now looks like that? Maria Ramos, Ramos, 5'3", director, arthritis. Okay. So Lena was just great, nothing at all. Maria visited Liminal Land alone in November of 1982. November of 1982. I messed up my word, sorry. Been on those types of rides. Not bad. Maria allegedly rode the wheel before making her way to the liminal land anomaly. Where she met a fate worse than death. She got her face contorted and then she met death. That day, the liminal land anomaly was reportedly closed for repair. Why, sorry, was it not burnt to the ground? Why was it not taken apart bit by holy fudging bit? Park employees recall seeing a woman near the ride's controls, yet did nothing to question or stop her. Fire every one of those employees. How are you going to sit at a ride, be employed by the park, and not ask if someone that's messing with stuff is also employed? Shortly after the ride reportedly engaged with the woman in the furthest rail car to the rear. So she went to the rear, not the front. Maybe the damage won't be as bad. The liminal land anomaly was allegedly closed due to a faulty failsafe, causing the ride to run multiple times per session. I have a feeling she probably got the worst because if she went multiple times, there's probably nothing left. That day, the ride ran for 26 minutes nonstop. Oh. How did no one stop it when they were working on it? 
The following photo is an illustration of Maria's facial structure after the ride was brought under control. For 26 minutes, people stood and watched. And that's what 26 minutes will do to you, apparently. Makes you dang near unrecognizable. That is messed up. Break the ride. I don't care if it shows up again. Keep on breaking it. Maria's incident marks the first known death by the liminal land anomaly. Oh, yes. Okay, so 1982. And then all the other ones were further ahead in the 80s. The investigation by the NMSP is ongoing. Just shut the part down. To protect and serve. You're not doing a good job of it. I just want you to know that right now. You're not doing a good job of protecting and serving the community. Holy crap. This land be messed up. We're going to go on to the fifth video. Found footage. Welcome home. I don't feel very welcome. Mm. And this is a 10 minute video, so you just know we're going to get lots of spooks. License for private home employees. View that was all me. I was talking and I should have been reading. That that's all me. Classic 80s music and classic 80s visual. So I gotta do classic 80s dance. Sorry, I gotta pay attention because if words come up and I miss them, I'm gonna be pissed. Liminal Land home video. Yeah. Home video because you know it's home. Greetings, new home associates. Thank you for joining our team. We are thrilled to have you here. We look forward to seeing your contributions to the betterment of Liminal Land and our park goers. Stop trying to get people to join you. People are dying at your parks. In other words, welcome to your new home. Why is the word gonna turn red? That's just scary. People in the 80s even knew that, okay? So what is home? Well, it's where you're supposed to feel safe and not die. Holistic and opportune mutual experience. And yet every experience has been horrifying. The home project strives to encompass a feeling of comfort and homeliness long associated with the American suburbia. Simply put, home is where we cater to our guests' desire to stay in the fun for as long as possible. So it's kind of like Disneyland where you have a hotel right there. We absolutely must maintain the stability and image of home to ensure our guests stay as long as possible. So yeah, I'm getting a, a feeling that's very similar to... I don't like the way you're glitching. Nope. As you will see momentarily, we have strategically placed home slightly ahead of the park's entrance. Yes. So, it's like Disneyland, Disney World, all that where you have the hotels. So that where when people come in, they can see, oh, I can actually stay in the park itself and have access to it for as long as possible. And yeah, home is an opportune place to stay here. Our guests can venture into the park and access all of our esteemed attractions right from the starting line. It's supposed to be beneficial. It's also wildly expensive. Now you might ask us, doesn't home seem rather small and far away from a lot of the park? Well, there's more than meets the eye lying just beneath the surface. Okay. Here's a visual comparison between the total area of home residencies to the overall size of the park. Since home is situated directly beneath the entire park, let's over uh, overlap the two and zoom out so we can more accurately showcase the true size of home. Why is it underneath the park? Why does it gotta be underneath? No. 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 It is very important that we spot and correct any sort of mess or inconvenience thoroughly and swiftly. We do not want our guests to feel uncomfortable and wish to leave prematurely. People do though, that's just the way things go. It is time for you to use what you've learned here so far. Try to spot the inconvenience in the following images. So it's kind of like the training tape. Do you see it? No, what's the issue? Is there something like on the floor right there? Is that what it is? No, no, I don't. I don't see it. What do you... Can you not? There you go, silly. Let's try again, shall we? It's not even home. It's a prison. It's an asylum. It's hell. Case study the following found footage tape will serve as an integral example in showcasing how improper containment measures lead to anomalous occurrences for home residents. 
what is this place? Case study, pay attention and thoroughly note what went wrong. We never want to see incidents such as this one again. Such as what? What have you done? What kind of park? At the end of each segment, a message will briefly be displayed. Each message will indicate one or more of the following for information regarding anomalous occurrences, what to avoid when present in similar situations, what kind of behavior we hate to see our subjects exhibit, which areas are prohibited for being accessed even by Karen Associates. Karen, which you immediately correct following the viewing of this tape. Karen, uh, you mean like the guy that in Hades, the boat rower? I mean that one? You mean the boat we're over for hell? Oh, hacks now. What place is this? This is not a good place. This is terrifying. I love how it's case studies. It's not even residents. It feels like you just need to say the word patient. Because you're trapping people in here. What is this park? This is no longer a theme park. This is... A living hell. <clears throat> and what occurrence are you talking about that you don't want before? Is it where there was curtains? Are you... What happened? Is that a shopping mart? How did someone get down here? Are you an employee or... Sorry, right, I take some big gulp of water. I'm very thirsty. I'm talking a lot. And I, I'm still trying to get over a cold, so. My throat's a little sore. Was that a child screaming? That's. That's gonna be a no for me. It's gonna be a no. When you hear screaming underground, that's usually where you get out. That's usually where you leave. That's where we cut the visit short and we get to safety. Why are you entering a house? If you jump scare, I swear to God, I'm punching my monitor. Do not follow strange sounds. No one had to tell me that. I have common sense to know that. Do not enter strangers' home. I also know that. I knock on everyone's door. That's how you're supposed to go about in life. You don't go into just a random person's house. You don't know them, you don't go. It was like, for sounds, this is not Scooby-Doo. There's not going to be someone wearing a mask. In this case, it's a horrible monster that's probably going to rip your face off and wear your face for a mask. There's a terrifying visual. <laughs> huh? You keep on flinging the camera back around multiple times and I'm waiting for something to just start charging you. Oh, now you're yeah, now you're definitely in the back rooms. Mhm. Mm I was waiting for how, I was waiting for this. I was wondering how long it was going to be before we really got in to the nitty-gritty of that this is yeah, this is the back rooms. Never leave a passage unblocked. So, block the passageway. Curiosity will become regret. <coughs> Someone messed up. Someone messed up already. They left a passage unblocked. Is that a, was that a name on the door? I thought you went into a room because you heard stuff in there and you got curious. I didn't know you were trying to hide because you heard noises on the outside. That's a fire. Don't open that. I'm pretty sure it's on fire for a reason. Whatever, whatever's in there needs to burn. Do not, do not what? Man, shoot. You gotta tell me twice. Do not go in there. You gotta tell me twice. That was not, oh, look at that. You done goofed up? You done goofed up? This is... Wow. You went from what looked like an underground facility that was supposed to be beneath a theme park 
left. Now, you're gonna die in hell. You're, the back room is essentially just hell. It's never ending. It may never be true, you'll never be seen, may never be right, you are already dead. Like, it, it's a hell in the form of you're never leaving. You, once you're in, you're done. It only spits you out when it's done with you or when you're dead. And it doesn't it doesn't finish with you for a long time, unfortunately. So I'm sorry to say, welcome to your new home. There's no way you got that lucky. Thank you for cutting it there. I didn't really want to see what was coming at you. I was not mentally prepared for that. I was not braced. Those who seek departure will lose themselves. Yep. See? Backrooms has a mind of its own. We hope you learn from others' mistakes. Do not wander off. We hope you have a pleasant day here at Liminal Land. This feels like the perfect intro to a horror game. Now we go on to the last video! Investigation tape. Mommy's friend. I don't think Mommy's friend is nice though. That's Mommy's friend. The beginning. Nope. Case file 052087. Sorry, I again, I love having a walking, a, a walking desk, a standing desk, because I can just move around. Mommy's friend, which means I can move back if something's going to get spooky. Also, I have ADHD, and I need to constantly be moving. I don't know why. The NMSP continues their investigation into strange activity happening around Lake Valley, New Mexico. Because that's where Liminal Land is, I believe, right? Last week, detectives received a tip directing them to the Muniz residence. Okay. <coughs> is it Muniz? Munoz? Munoz? I don't know. I'm, um, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing it right at least one of the ways I said it. Allegedly, Sophia Munoz has been acting increasingly erratic since her daughter disappeared under unknown circumstances. Wait a minute! Angie! Angie Munoz! She gone. She got taken. I'm sorry. If it was me... Mm, Nope. If it was me and something happened to my son, the world's not ready for what I would do. Sophia Muniz alleges that her daughter was last seen in her care at 54, 504 Dorota Street. There's a movie with Hugh Jackman and someone else about like their kids being missing. I would probably go to that level if it was me. According to her testimony, she ran away from home in the dead of night. You just don't push a parent to the limit. That's all I'm gonna say. I almost say. Mess around and find out. During the incident, Sophia alleges that she was asleep in her bed and heard not a single sound to wake her. Wait, did did they not disappear at the park? They got taken at their house. What? They came in the house. Detectives have been given no reason to suspect that Sophia Muniz is like. I thought they disappeared at the park. I didn't know that they were getting taken out of their own homes. Yet, yeah, what motive does Angie have to run? Maybe something pulled her out. Maybe something lured her out. It said mommy's friend. So I'm assuming during the most recent search of the Muniz home, drawings from the missing daughter were discovered. It said mommy's friend. So I'm assuming that there was some thing that entered the house and lured Angie away. It's a story called mommy's friend. So is that what happened with the adults too? That they got lured away? Some friend came and took them. Discovery prompted an immediate manhunt for Sophia Muniz, yet she has fled her home. I'm not gonna lie, my son already when talking about going to Disney World, he's already said like, I will not walk away from you. I'm not running away. I'm like, you're darn right you're not. This is her story. I'd be like, cause I will go ballistic in the park. I'll be like, no! I'll throw, I'll throw a fit. <laughs> Mommy's friend drawn by Angie. Is also like I'm very proud for my son saying that he will not run away from me in those instances. So <laughs> it makes me so happy. This is my mommy. That's your mommy? Why should why she got bald spot up top? Couldn't draw curls up there. Mommy takes me everywhere. Okay, that's good. Mommy spending mommy special special time. Alright, that's mommy special time with you. Take you to the park. Mommy took me to Liminal Land! Liminal Land saw you, Liminal Land wanted you, Liminal Land got you. Oh god. I was so excited. This is gonna make me sad, isn't it? 
This is this guy's gonna make me sad. But then mommy but then mommy made me sad. Huh? Why did mommy make you sad? Mommy take me in this house. In one of the liminal land houses? Inside there were more houses. Why, why would that make you sad though? Mommy looked... What does that say? Something happened to your mom, didn't it? Something got to your mom. Mommy said she was looking for a friend. Oh, this is just taking a really big turn. Follow me, it's okay. That's not your mom anymore. I think she got separated from her mom. Probably for a brief time if she was able to come home and then draw these pictures. Okay, so there's a door. Inside was a mommy's friend. Not mommy's friend, no! It's not mommy's friend! Is that supposed to be mommy's friend? Is that, is that supposed to be mommy's friend? I don't look like mommy's friend. I look like not mommy's friend. Mommy's friend's the devil? <laughs> That's not where I expected it to go. I expected it to be like some kind of anomalous looking monster. When I said that the back room was hell, I was acting like a joke. I didn't think Satan was actually going to be involved in this. That's a turn that I was not expecting. Is a friend gonna jump through the photo? You're doing a really big lingering shot on that. We have reason to believe that Sophia Muniz was involved in the disappearance of her daughter, Angie. So the devil himself is calling out to people? Well, that's one more reason to burn liminal land. Oh, and she's wanted, she's gone. Oh, sweet mother, oh god. That's, um, that was all the Liminal Land videos that I can understand why people were reacting a certain way with the titles of this. That was creepy. I can't wait to see more videos. I'm hoping there's gonna be more. You ended it in such a way that you have to make more. You can't make five videos and then not. I'm already a big fan of this. This was fantastic and I cannot wait to see more. If you want to check it out for yourself, link in the description below. Highly recommend that you go and watch it for yourself, and maybe you'll know some things that I didn't. It was all very, like, right there, though, so I don't think I missed anything, but if I did, let me know. If you enjoyed this, make sure to smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this. If there's any videos... I almost said games. If there's any videos you'd like to see me react to in the future, suggestion right there, right down there, I think you want consideration. I'm now messing up my words. Why? Also, if you're new around here and you've been enjoying what you're seeing, why not click that subscribe button and click that bell to get notified of my next video. I will see you on the next one. Bye!